Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you some quick tips on how to set your lighting in Lumion. So here I have a scene that I have some lamps and I have a ceiling light. So I want to place some lights in here. So let's go ahead and go over here to objects and I'm going to go to lights and what we want to do is we want to place uh, two different types of lights. We want to place Omni lights and spotlights. So first let's start with spotlights. And here we have different types of spotlights we can select and I'm going to select this one lamp 02 and let's go ahead and go over to our lamp here and what I'm going to do is going to place it just on the edge of this uh, lamp shade and we're going to click it there and I'm going to go ahead and click here. I want to select click on here I'm going to change the cone angle so I want it to have a pretty wide angle and let's go ahead and change the color of it here kind of give it more of a warm feel to it maybe about there and let's go ahead and reduce the brightness so maybe a little bit brighter than that maybe about there All right so as you can see here it's casting a shadow on that on the back there and I don't really want that to happen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this uh, this spotlight to the other side so what I'm going to, the, to do that I'm going to hold down alt and shift to make a copy and when you do this it allows you to keep it in that horizontal plane while you move it and we'll go ahead and just place it right there so now we're not seeing that shadow behind it alright so now what I want to do is I want to copy just one of these to the top so I'm going to use this move up command here. I'm going to hold down alt to make a copy. And there we just brought it there. I'm going to use rotate. We're going to rotate the angle to shine upwards. And again, I'm going to place it on the edge of my lampshade. So I'm going to go over here to move freely. And when you use move freely and you don't hit shift, it's just going to jump to whatever surface you move your mouse onto. So I'm going to move it to the edge of my lampshade and you can see it's not really showing much much of a uh, it's not casting much of the light there so I'm going to hold down shift and move it more towards the center of the lamp and there you can see it's uh, casting a, a lot more light onto the wall there and it looks like it's not quite centered so I'm just going to move it over a little bit okay so there we go we have our our light shining up and uh, down from our lampshade but we want the lamp itself to look like it's it's um, shining some light so what I want to do is go to place again and this time I'm going to go to light fill and I'm gonna go ahead and place this in the center here and let's go to select it and now I'm going to we're gonna make it we're gonna make it bright but we're also going to change the fall off so that it doesn't extend too too far beyond the lampshade so that way it's showing that it is actually um, the light is actually filling this whole area and it looks like you know there may be some kind of a, a light inside there and you go ahead and move this to about the center of it and maybe make it a little brighter okay so that looks good and what, I'm, what I want to do now is going to copy all this to this side over here. To do that, I'm going to hold down Control and select all my lights. And now I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift to make a copy. Make sure I'm in this Move Free command. And let's go ahead and move this over to this light. Try to select the edge of that lamp. See if I can get it right. I may have to move it once after I do this. Let's see. Let's kind of zoom in and see where we're moving to. And let's see if we can figure it out. Right about there. Okay. Whoops. Let's back up. Okay, so there we have our lamps. Now, one other thing I want to do in this room, I'm going to go ahead and select deselect all. And I want to change the light over here. So I'm going to go to materials, I'm going to select that. And one thing you may already know that you can do is you can change the emissiveness of any object to make it kind of look like it's a light. The only thing with this is when you do this, it actually doesn't show that it, it never casts shadows when you do that. It just looks like a light, 
but it's really it won't shine on anything it'll just kind of shine right there so what I want to do is I want to add some spotlights so that it cast shadows down onto my bed here so let's go ahead and click OK and go to objects back to place spotlights and I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here even it's a lamp I know it's not a lamp but it'll work fine I'm gonna go ahead and click select and I want to change my cone angle and you can kind of see what it's doing and we're going to reduce the brightness of it so now when you look down here you can see that it's casting a shadow on the bed now if you ever want to kind of preview your shadows just hold down F8 and you will see what all your lights uh, the shadows are being cast so remember only spotlights cast shadows omni light and fill lights do not cast shadows and one other thing you may want to do is as you can see there's some really uh, harsh shadows being cast here so if I wanted to add some more lights to that I could go to place and let's go ahead and add some fill lights and go and press F8 kind of see so you kind of see you could kind of reduce that harshness of that shadow there but you gotta be careful because then you might be making your room a lot brighter than you want it and let's see if I can select all those holding down control and we could kind of reduce the brightness maybe about there okay and there you have it so that's a quick way to add some lighting to make your your images look more realistic so i hope you liked this video if you did please click that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't and i'll see you next time thanks